Jacksonville's huge bicentennial celebration is happening this Saturday all over downtown. Large crowds are expected to attend multiple events, and with that comes concerns about security. As the nation is still reeling over a debate concerning mass shootings, we just spoke with Jacksonville's incoming Sheriff Pat Ivey about their plans. We're prepared. We have a plan um, that we all vet um, well in advance. Um, and it's uh, we've been here. The, we've been here for a lot of these things before, um, large events and things and whatnot. We've had the Super Bowl and other. Um, remember, we were preparing for the RNC and we pulled the plug. Um, the reality is, uh, uh, the citizens, citizens of Jacksonville can rest assured we're ready. Under Sheriff soon, Sheriff Ivy will take over as the sheriff on Saturday and says people should feel safe going out. We've been telling you for months about the huge event slated for this Saturday. If you show up, expect large crowds for blocks surrounding James Weldon Johnson Park in front of City Hall. Mm -hmm. And with that comes fears for many on edge following the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas. We plan clothes there. There will be plain clothes. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much in every large event. You'll have officers that are there that are not in uniform that will monitor the crowds. I met up with James Brown, a former SWAT team commander with JSO. He says expect uniformed and plain clothed to police officers all over the area. He says things police and frankly the public should look out for as people overly dressed or things like large packed bags. They would be looking for anything that doesn't fit the area. And what I mean by that is the way someone may be dressed. Uh, for example, it's pretty hot here in Jacksonville. Temperatures reaching about 90. People that may be coming with large backpacks, large amounts of uh, uh, extra baggage. Uh, so when officers see that, they're they're keeping an eye on it. Yes, that 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 could be something suspicious because they could be carrying additional weapons. The Jacksonville Historical Society's host for this and tells News for Jax that JSO will be all over the place to offer security and to expect to have a great time downtown. It should be a great day. We anticipate a lot of people telling their Jacksonville stories. We have done everything we can to make this a widely diverse and inclusive community event. And don't forget to join us tonight for our special report, Jax 200, the Bold City Bicentennial. News for Jax spoke with the Jacksonville Historical Society, City of Jacksonville, local businesses and residents uncovering what made our city what it is today. Watch Jax 200, the Bold City Bicentennial live tonight at 7 p.m. on the local station, newsforjax.com and News for Jax Plus. Then coming up tomorrow, the morning show will be live from the Museum of Science and History to celebrate the city's 200th birthday. That starts at 7 a.m.